In this video, we're going to take this scooter on a range test to see if it lives up to its lofty claims of 59 miles advertised range. I'll also talk about why believing in advertised range can disappoint consumers, and I'll announce the winners of some of my recent giveaways. All right, guys. So I've been riding this in motion L9 scooter, going to friends' homes to deliver things, to pick up things, went to Home Depot, you know, just kind of zipping around, taking the long route. I've been tracking it on the Relive app. I've put on about 11 miles. I'm about 68% battery, it says. So I've used about 30% of the battery and uh, gone about 10 miles. So at that rate, I should go a little over 30 miles. You know, I've run out of places to go. I had the idea I'd call up some of my son's friends. I know they're going on a group ride today. I think I'm gonna crash their group ride. Let's see if they're up for taking this thing out for a spin. All right, this is my son Ethan. He's riding our Nicola. And uh, this is what he uses to ride to work now because he doesn't ride the King Song 16S. It doesn't seem to be fast enough for him anymore. And then we've got Harry. This is his first time riding on an electric scooter. Just keep doing some laps All right. until the other guys show up. You're doing awesome, man. Just keep doing some more laps. All right, that's how we're gonna get this range test done. What's up, guys? Hey. It's the rest of the crew. We made it. Oh, uh, yeah. you got food? Got food. Good. good. Yeah, good. <laughs> yes, get that nourishment. Oh, yeah. Scooter? That's a big scooter. That's a big scooter, yes. Dude, there's like suspension on that thing. There's like LED lights. Like, oh, I yep. didn't see that. There's lights that's underneath. Sick. I want you guys to get the feel of this and uh, tell me what you think. This, yeah, so this is not a speed monster. That's a good question. So this yeah. thing is advertised to have 59 miles of range. 59, wow. dang. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. 59 miles range, that is crazy. But how accurate are advertised ranges compared to real world range results? From my experience, if you take an advertised range and cut it by about 25 to 50%, then you'll be closer to real world range. But why does it have to be this way? Give this video a thumbs up if range over inflation bugs you, and we'll talk more about it in a sec. I'm, I'm trying to do a range test to see uh, what kind of range we can get. I've been riding around all day today, so if you're gonna ride it, you just need to have this phone in your pocket, okay? Why don't you give it a spin? Actually? Yeah. Yo. All right. I'm Josh, I've been one wheeling for a while now, like a few years now. So you need a kick to start, the throttle so won't work. So you gotta be going like two miles. Yeah, now. you gotta go a little bit. Oh, what? I got it up to like 17.8. Oh, nice. nice. I should have got that on camera. <laughs> How do you stop? <laughs> How do you stop? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. so use the brake. The, yeah. the one thing I forgot to tell you that there is a uh -huh. cruise control. So yeah. if you're pushing on this for like five seconds at a constant oh, speed, really? you'll it'll hear stay. a beep and then it'll stay at that speed. That's probably and you what to... that was. Yeah, you want to try? Yeah, I give it a go. Yeah. I'd love to. I'm Christian, what's up? Uh, a se senior, senior, senior in high school. Yep. Ethan, senior, right? And then Josh, junior. junior. Harry, Jr. All right, Woo. there you go. Oh, no instruction needed. Woo. Yeah, it's got it's got a little torque to it. Yeah, got some nice. zip. Oh, oh, we forgot to give you guys the the phone. Who had the phone? Oh shoot. You oh, had the phone. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Here, do a couple laps. Oh, you need the phone to do it? That no, one, just to keep just track of the mileage. Oh, yeah. The mileage. yeah. So do do a couple more laps. So how do companies come up with advertised range? Well, it seems like there's no standardized protocol to follow, so companies make up their own methods to get the best range possible. And these riding conditions are far from how everyday users would ride. Whoa. Do a couple more laps. All you gotta do. Yo! Yo! That's all you gotta do. All right guys, this is what we're gonna do. So we are going to try to drain the battery on this guy. It has advertised 59 miles of range, um, but that's like going slow with a light rider. I'm a little heavier and I've been riding it in sport mode the whole time. Um, so we're going to try to drain the battery. There were five bars on here to begin with. And now we're down to four, okay? Whoever's on this when, it, when this dies gets 20,000 pennies. Yo! 20, one penny oh, for each subscriber. That, who can do the math there? That's like... That's, 200 bucks. 200 dollars, that's oh, right. Man. So we'll, we'll ride it around and we'll see what happens towards the end, all right? So it'll be an adventure. 20,000 pennies, you guys can- How much does that weigh? Like, that's just like a wheelbarrow of pennies or something? That, that is a lot like of pennies. Pounds? I don't even know if we can even get 20,000 pennies right now. Aren't we in like a coin shortage? Yeah. 
You know what's funny? The copper in a, in a penny is actually worth two pennies. So it's more like 40, it's like $400 worth of uh, pennies. Kind of interesting. I know it's easy for folks to get upset by inflated advertised range numbers on PEVs, and that's why I never get too excited when I see advertised range numbers, because I know they don't represent real world numbers, and just about all the companies do it. Lots of people compare the InMotion L9 to the popular Segway 9Bot Max, which is an advertised range of 40 miles on a charge, but in real world tests, it gets anywhere from 20 to 30 miles. When we understand the rules of the game, then we're less likely to get upset when the scooter or the electric unicycle or the electric skateboard don't meet the advertised range. Okay, let's switch up. I'm gonna get some footage. Josh, here, why don't you ride this? Oh, okay. All right, so we've got this group ride here. We're going around the Cherry Creek Reservoir. We're switching off who gets to ride what. Right now, Josh is on the in motion L9 scooter and we're seeing who can wear down the bars the fastest. While I don't like range inflation, I can't fault the companies too much for using the best possible number they could get under ideal conditions, because there's no set standard for testing. If a company can tell me how they got the reported range, and if their methods seem fair and reproducible, then I'm okay with that. So how did InMotion get their 59 mile advertised range? A 165 pound rider traveling 11 miles per hour on a flat road in 77 degree weather. That's what they told me. Ideal conditions, but still fair, and not unlike how other companies test. Let's pull over here. You have, you have to, to kick off, so like, it has to, you oh, have to be going like one to two miles an hour. What can PEV makers do to advertise their products without upsetting consumers? How about giving an actual range when reporting, like stating the expected range when using an eco mode and in full throttle sport mode, and give that range of numbers. Or, instead of reporting a 59 mile range, why not add the phrase, up to 59 miles range? PEV manufacturers may be doing themselves a disservice when they boast unattainable range. While 59 miles range certainly grabs attention, it only sets some consumers up for disappointment, even when the scooter still achieves amazing range results, but not up to the advertised number. I mean, I'm not going to get 59 miles on the scooter going full throttle, accelerating, and stopping often, and going off-road. But the range I did end up getting was still pretty impressive when you take into account the price of the scooter and the other amenities like suspension and lights. It looks like we're gonna switch here. How'd it go, man? It's on, it was, oh, it was amazing. Yeah. That hill back there, we got powered up it. Going back down, we got the 20 miles per hour. So, nice. one above what it said. Awesome. So, yeah, it was awesome, though. What's, uh, all right, we're at three bars That's now. Three. Three bars, woo! All right, so Christian just drained it down another bar, and now we've got Harry on it. Let's see if he can take it down a bar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and about some of the winners from my recent giveaways, special thanks to all the wonderful companies that helped to support these giveaways. Winners, I've replied to your winning comments in those prior videos, so please follow the directions that I've replied, and we'll get you your prize. Okay, we're draining this battery, but the sun is also going down. I have one final giveaway left and there's still time to enter. InMotion is giving away a brand new L9 electric scooter, this one that I'm testing here. Just watch this prior L9 video and follow the instructions in that video to enter. The winner will be chosen in my next video, which we will compare the L9 to the Segway 9Bot Max. You got it when it was three, right? Yeah. And it's still at three? Still three. Yeah. We've gone over, gone around like three fourths of the road. Yeah. How do the legs feel? Oh. Yeah, plenty. I feel like it hurts your legs a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit sore. A little sore. All right, how'd it go? Good. Just a little cold. Right? Yeah. Oh, my hands. It's a little chilly. Yeah. All right, we're still three oh, yeah. bars. Yeah. Three. Okay, good. Let's see how many miles we've done. We've done 21 miles. Oh, I'm thinking of five, five day challenge. <laughs> yeah, this might be a multi-day challenge. The problem is it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Yeah. We've taken the scooter all around the reservoir and uh, we still have like 50% battery left. Um, it says we've got about 26, 27 miles charge to go. So it's getting cold. We're getting tired. We're getting hungry. I was going to give whoever was still on the scooter when the battery runs out, 20,000 pennies. They have just dis decided to uh, do a pack, right? Tell us tell yeah, us what packed. you guys did. So we're all the major powers in the world. I'm gonna be like like 
Soviet Union. Ethan, obviously. China. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll be America. Uh, I'll be the UK, I guess. So uh, I'll be uh, Stalin, right? And you'll be. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be FDR. You'll be uh, Winston, yeah, Winston Churchill. The um, the one wheel pack. <laughs> so there's the pack. They they are going to split the twenty thousand pennies. You guys uh, decide where you want to go. Text me with where you end up, and I'll I'll meet you there. Okay. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. Get thanks, guys. Two days later. It is just a windy, blustery day. I've been at it on this range test for about three days now. Today is the third day. We've been trying to drain it down. I even joined my son and his friends on a group ride. Let's check the app to see. I've done a total of 27 miles so far, nine miles of range left. It is 40 degrees today, I've been riding around, and uh, this has got nine miles to go. It's been a beautiful fall day. You can see the leaves here, gorgeous. So we're down to the last little bit of juice on our scooter. I think we have uh, just maybe one or two bars left. I'm gonna head over to get some lunch. Gonna go over to Chipotle, pick up some food, take it home to the family. Okay guys. The opposite, I had about seven miles charge left and Chipotle was only about two miles away. I'm about halfway there and uh, going up a hill, it just kind of stopped on me. I'm down to one bar left. You can see that's flashing. I had it in sport mode. I've since changed it to eco mode. I turned it off, I turned it back on. There was a little like warning symbol, I guess telling me either I'm out of battery or I don't know. But uh, regardless, it died. It kind of stopped on me. I'm just gonna head home and then I'll just drive over to Chipotle to pick up the food. But we can conclude the range test here. I got 30.3 miles. You can see that. Right. So I had to ditch the scooter and I got my Chipotle. I'm gonna go eat that now. I had to drive over to Chipotle to pick that up. But uh, I'm hungry. We'll do the rest of this video later.